Hi there. My name is Todd Jordan, Managing Director of Hedge Eye Risk Management, and I head up the gaming, lodging, leisure sector for the firm. We just issued a detailed report to our institutional clients outlining our view on the North American slot industry. The report has negative implications for three sectors, uh, three companies in the sector, IGT, Bally Gaming, and Scientific Games, which just bought WMS. Today I want to briefly take you through our thesis. Over the long term, bad demographics will continue to pressure the slot manufacturers. It's already happening. Over the more near and intermediate term, slot sales are beginning their descent due to a double whammy of stagnating replacement demand and a dearth of new casino markets. The first chart I want to take you through shows clearly where demand is going. We correctly called the recovery from the bottom in 2010 when most of the large casino companies were doing very poorly and actually a lot of them were, were at or near bankruptcy and they couldn't afford new slot machines. The bad news is that replacements are stagnating again and actually down in some markets. Making matters worse, there are very few new casinos opening up through 2015, which will drive slot sales lower and potentially pressure pricing. And that is already happening as well. More troubling is the long-term demographic headwind. Baby boomers are really the last generation that plays slots. My generation, Generation X, has little interest. It's no coincidence that we were the first video game generation. The next chart clearly shows that first-time visitors to Las Vegas are at an all-time low, as are the proportion of visitors who gambled. Both trends are indicative of young people's propensity or lack of propensity to gamble, and more importantly, gamble on slots. In the rest of the country, casino admissions are in sharp decline, as can be seen in the next chart. Slots make up about 80% of gambling revenues in regional markets, so clearly demand is waning as baby boomers expire, for lack of a better term. So who on the slot side will this impact? We think all three of the major US players will be negatively affected. Fundamentally, IGT, as the 800 pound gorilla, has the most to lose with its high market share and reliance on new markets. Bally Gaming could also have a lot to lose in terms of stock price given its high valuation, the highest in the sector. Finally, structurally, Scientific Games may be the most at risk in terms of the overall entity. Scientific Games recently acquired WMS for a very high multiple at the wrong time, the beginning of a down slot cycle. Combining one company that struggles to generate cash flow with another does not create cash flow, just high leverage. So we think we have three pretty good ideas, all on the negative side. The fundamental hurdles are high and the headwinds are strong. We lay out the detailed analysis and charts and graphs in our black book. Please let us know if you'd like a copy. Again, I'm Todd Jordan, Managing Director at Hedge Eye Risk Management. And our risk management move today is to stay away and not pressure luck of the slot companies. If you have any more questions, please follow me on Twitter at Hedge Eye Snake Eye.